Three, two, one. All right, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Jay, come on, I don't want to learn keyboard shortcuts. I don't want to memorize it, but I'm here to tell you, you remember a couple keyboard shortcuts, it's going to drastically speed up your edits. It's a lot quicker than click, 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 boom, a little couple keyboard shortcuts. It's going to speed everything up for you. So today, we are talking about my top 10 keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time, every day, every time I'm in Resolve. I use them and it helps me get through my edits a whole lot quicker. And actually, I'm going to give you two bonus ones too. So you're actually going to get 12. Now, some of these you might know, some you might not, but let's jump into Resolve. Check them out. I'm telling you, remember these things. They're going to speed up your workflow. Let's jump into Resolve and check it out. All right. So the first three keyboard shortcuts we have here looking in Resolve are copy, paste, and then we want to just paste the attributes. And that's the key one is the paste attributes. So you know you got your normal copy and paste. Let me just come to the end here. We can select our clip. Command or Control C, and then put your playhead wherever you want it to go. Command or Control V, and that's going to paste your clip there. Now, let's say you didn't want it to paste onto this first track. You wanted it to go on the second track. How do you do that? A little bonus tip here for you. Over here, you got your auto track selector. Just go ahead and turn that off for whatever tracks you do not want to paste on. And then make sure the one you do want to paste on has that auto track selector turned on. Now, if I put my playhead anywhere... Command or Control V to paste it. It's going to go ahead and paste it right onto that track for you. Okay, that's cool. Copy, paste. You got that. Everybody knows that, right? Or at least I think everybody knows that. But what if we want to paste the attributes? So, for example, if I come to this clip right here, let's just say I open my inspector and I make some changes. I zoom in, come down like this. Maybe I throw the dynamic zoom on so we can see, for example, sake here, let's say I want to crop one side of it. I'm going to put some text over there. Now, let's say I want to copy the attributes that I, I put on here. If I select the clip and I use Command or Control C again, and then I come to my new clip. So if I click on this clip here, you see in the inspector, you know, there's no zoom, um, there's no crop and dynamic zoom is not on. Well, I just want to paste the attributes from that first clip. Select your clip and you want to use Option on Mac or Alt on PC and V. And that is going to bring up this window right here. And it gives you the option to paste any of the attributes that you want. Now, if you want to copy everything, boom, there you go. Select everything and it'll paste everything from the one clip onto the other clip. So I'm going to hit apply. Boom. There we go. And now you can see we've got the crop. We've got the zoom. It's all in there. Pretty good, right? Now, let me just undo that and bring up this window again here. So option or alt V to paste your attributes. Now, let's say you put an effect on there. Um, I don't know what it might be. Maybe it's some kind of blur or a drop shadow. Let me some drop shadows or uh, whatever it might be. And this is going to work for text or video clips or photos, whatever. You can come in here and you can just turn all of them off. And if you only want to use, you know, for example, your effect, you just want to check the plugins and that's going to copy and paste just the plugin information for you there. So comes in super handy. You can just set it up once in one clip and then copy that clip. Paste the attributes. Love this one. Use it all the time. So keyboard shortcut one is command or control C. Keyboard shortcut two is command or control V. Keyboard shortcut number three is paste attributes, which is option on Mac or alt on PC plus the V key. And you're going to get this menu and be able to paste your attributes. All right. My fourth favorite keyboard shortcut here in DaVinci Resolve, use it every single time I'm in Resolve, is the keyboard shortcut to cut a clip. By default, it's command B on Mac or control B on a PC. I've reassigned mine to the S key and I'll explain that more in a minute why I did that. But if I just come put my playhead wherever I want, hit that keyboard shortcut for me, it's S for by default, it would be command or control plus the B key. And there you go, making quick cuts. It's a lot quicker than using the razor tool up here. All right, keyboard shortcuts five, one of my favorites. Again, I use these all the time as well. And that is to make a cut and then delete everything after it or make a cut and delete everything before it for that particular clip. Check this out. So I've got my playhead right here. Now by default, the keyboard shortcut on a Mac is command shift and the bracket keys. So depending which way you want to delete, you're going to use that particular bracket key. But I reassign them to be the Q and W keys. So for example, if I come here and I want to make a cut, say right here on this clip, and I want to delete everything after it, after I make the cut, I'm going to use my W key. So it makes the cut and deletes everything else after it. it makes it super quick when you're editing. I don't have to make a cut, select it, delete it and then move on. I can just do it all in one shot. Now, let's say I come here and I want to make a cut right here, and then I want to delete this section of the clip. I'm going to use the Q key. And by default, to delete the first part of the clip, you would use Control Shift plus the left bracket key. And if you wanted to delete the right half of the clip, you would use Control plus Shift plus the right bracket key. So that's why I reassigned them, because it makes it a lot quicker when you're trying to edit fast 
if you use the Q, W, and S keys to make your cuts and make your cuts and delete, you know, either the front part of the clip or the back part of the clip. Super helpful, really speeds up your workflow here in Resolve when you're just trying to get through your timeline, make your cuts, and bring together your edit and your story. The next three keyboard shortcuts, they all go together here, and they are the J, the K, and the L key. Now, why do I like these guys? Because they're gonna allow you to play the video forward, play the video backwards, stop the video, and go frame by frame, and all using just three fingers on those three keys. So looking in Resolve here, if I just hit the L key, it plays forward for us. If I hit the J key, it's gonna play backwards for us. If I hit the K key, that's what stops it from playing. And also if I wanted to fast forward or rewind faster, just hit the L or the J keys more times. One, two, three. You can see right up here, now I'm going four times the speed, eight times, 16 times the speed. And if I wanna stop, I just hit the letter K. Now, if you want to go frame by frame, you hold the letter K down and you can just bump ahead using the L key or bump backwards using the J key. So these three keys are super helpful when you're just trying to move around your timeline. Instead of hitting the space bar, then you got to drag it back or use your arrow keys. Like this. You just keep your hands on the J, K, and L and you could just move forward and backward super easily. So those are six, seven, and eight for the keyboard shortcuts that I definitely use all the time. Now the ninth keyboard shortcuts, which you guys are probably familiar with here, is just your delete key and your backspace key. So if you're trying to just delete a clip, but you don't want to squish everything back together, you want to use the backspace key. So boom, it'll get rid of your clip here and it leaves a gap in your timeline. You can always select this gap and then hit the backspace key again and it'll get rid of that, that uh, gap there for you. But what if I got my clip here and I want to get rid of the gap and I want everything to move over all at once. It's called ripple delete, where you delete one thing and everything else comes over in your timeline. In order to do that, Use the delete key on your keyboard. And if you got the smaller keyboards, you might need to use like your uh, function key or a, a different key, like a modifier key. I'm not sure what everybody's got on their keyboards, but you may need to use modifier key plus your backspace key in order to use what on my computer is the delete key. Cause I got, you know, these guys over here, here's the delete key, the ripple delete. There's my backspace key, right? So if I hit the ripple delete, check this out, select my clip, ripple delete, boom, it slides everything over for us. And it just takes a step out of the process of having to move clips around. Keyboard shortcut number 10 is another one I use all the time. And that is to be able to select all of your clips in your timeline after a certain point. For example, I'm, sometimes I'm working in the beginning of uh, my video here and I got, I'm trying to get my intro in there, put a clip in the beginning and I need to select everything and either move it up a track or slide it over, whatever. How can I quickly do that? With an easy project like this, sure, I can come in and window everything and select it. But if you've got a more complicated project, that's a pain. I don't want to do that. So what you can do is put your playhead, add a particular clip and where I want to select everything after that. And then I'm going to use the Alt key on PC or Option key on Mac plus the letter Y. And that's gonna select everything from the playhead on. Now you notice the bottom clip here, the music, that got selected too because it actually, it goes past where my playhead is. So I can quickly deselect that by holding my control or command key and just selecting that one clip. But now I've got all my other clips in my timeline selected. I can move them around. I can bump them up a, a track or two. I can slide them over a little bit. I can delete them. You can do whatever you need to do. It makes it real quick and easy to select clips and then be able to move them or do something with them. So that is keyboard shortcut number 10, the command or control Y. And now not to disappoint, I do have two bonus tips here for you real quick. The option or alt key, hold that down, select the clip and just drag it and you can easily and quickly make copies of clips. I do this all the time with text. I set up a style and I'll just copy it around so I can have it all look consistent throughout my video. And the last and final keyboard shortcut here that I use all the time is the keyboard shortcut to open your retime controls. Command or control R. Select your clip, command or control R. It's gonna bring up your retime controls here. And you know, we can retime our clip. We can speed it up, slow it down. You can click the little drop down, change your speed, move it forwards, backwards, whatever you wanna do. It's a good point to start for your uh, speed ramping. If you're gonna do that, Command or Control R, it's gonna open up your retime controls. And I just, I use it all the time whenever I wanna speed up or slow down a clip. So if you found these keyboard shortcuts even a little bit helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Quick Tip Tuesday, DaVinci Resolve tips, all kinds of fun stuff. Subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. And with that said, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.